Hey guys, it's Roslyn and welcome back to my channel. Today I am super excited to talk about all things cloth diaper. I know when we got started with cloth diaper a year and a half ago, um, I mean before that when I was pregnant and I was trying to research all the things, it just felt super overwhelming because there's just a lot of options and different opinions and honestly it just kind of changes depends on like your kid and your preference and washing Ooh. styles and there's just a lot of options so today I'm hoping this video can help just explain what the different kinds are I will show you what each of the kinds are because I know for me we had a friend come over and do this demo for us and it just like clicked which ones we were like okay that system seems like it would work great for us or that one doesn't seem so great this you know we were just able to figure it out so I'm hoping this is a visual way that can help you guys and yeah, hopefully it's just helpful. So if you have any other comments, this video is strictly just gonna be about cloth diapers, like the different kinds, but if you wanna know more about our wash routine or why we chose which ones we use, how many we have, all that stuff, just leave your, um, excuse me, leave your questions down below and I'd be happy to make another video just kind of explaining like the common questions. Um, again, if you think that'd be helpful. So should we get started? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Okay, the first diaper we're gonna start with is called an all-in-one. And it is literally what it sounds like. It is basically the cloth version of a disposable diaper. It has this outer shell, which this is waterproof, so this is what keeps everything from soaking baby. And then inside is a cloth. Everything is sewn all the way, all together. And you can always add additional you know, if you wanted to really double it up for nighttime or if you had like a really heavy wetter, you can add in extra stuff and really like double it up. But this is called an all-in-one or an AI like one. So you will see a lot of cloth diaper um, like shorthand. I'll actually have a blog post linked below to all of the shorthand because again, it can kind of get confusing. But all-in-one literally is all together. It's all in one. You put this on the baby when baby wets or poops. You take this off the baby, you put on another diaper. Literally, there's like no other steps. Nothing you have to stuff, nothing you have to change. So if like cloth diapering super intimidates you or if you wanna like give cloth diapers to like a mother-in-law or someone who's gonna be watching baby and you think they'll be overwhelmed, this is a great way. Another one that's similar is an all-in-two, which I don't have a sample of, but it's basically the same thing as an all-in-one, except that this liner is removable. So it basically, it's gonna be something like this, where it'll just snap in, and again, same thing, it's all together. But the nice thing with an all-in-two is that because these two things would be separate, they will dry faster. So probably the one negative thing um, or I guess like probably the two negative things in my opinion about an all-in-one is when they're expensive they're about like 25 plus for just one diaper and then the other negative thing is that it takes forever to dry because you gotta think so the covers don't take too long but this part needs to dry this part needs to dry and this part needs to dry so and like the best way to do cloth diapers is you want to line dry them so this is going to take like at least 24 if not 48 hours like probably 24 if you're outside in a sunny location 48 if it's just inside in kind of like a temperate location so the nice thing with an all-in-two is you basically would not have this so it would just be this shell plus this so it'll just dry a lot faster and generally all-in-twos are a little bit cheaper um Sometimes what's cool is all in tools will also have a pocket, which I'm going to show you. So it's really just kind of like very, has a lot of options to work for you. So those are those two. Okay. So that was basically like one system, the all in two, you know, there's two different pieces and then a pocket, which is the next one I'm going to show you is this is our personal favorite. We love, love, love pockets. So kind of like the all in one, all in two, here's like the shell but instead of having snaps on the outside, there's a pocket that you take your insert, which we'll talk about in a second, and you literally just stuff it inside, and that's it. 
So you can stuff it based on like however much or however however little. But what I love about pockets is because we put it on the inside, all the moisture from my son is kind of like being absorbed underneath and this top layer is dry. So he's not getting, he has really sensitive skin. So he's not getting just that like constant moisture and diaper rash because another system I'll show you, Malachi was just having diaper rashes all the time and it's because like that, the moisture, like the pad was basically touching his skin all the time and this is what absorbs the pee and this was just wet and on his skin like so if I didn't catch it right away he would be sitting in it for however long and so what I just love about the pockets is this is on the inside so even though this is very thin I mean it's not super thick but even though this is very thin it's enough to at least give me that window of like oh okay I need to go change your diaper you've maybe been sitting in it 30 minutes it's okay because this kept you dry so we personally really, really love pockets. I think they're really easy. You do have to stuff them, but honestly, I can say as a person who loathes doing laundry. Like, loathes doing laundry. Like literally y'all, I do laundry, like my personal laundry once a month because I just, like my husband and I both avoid it until like neither of us have any underwear and then we're like, okay, we have to do laundry. I do it more frequently for my son because he has less clothes than we do because he, you know, changes sizes way more frequently, but just love, love, love cloth, um, or love, love, love pocket. I mean, I do love cloth too. But some people will put things on the top and like double layer it. And then if just one layer is bad, you can reuse it. Um, for us, we just stuff. And then when it's full, we get a new pocket diaper. Um, but again, because these are all separate, they dry really, really fast. These covers, just a couple hours inside they're nothing and then depending on the insert is depending how long it'll take so before i talk about inserts i want to show you gusset diapers versus non-gusset diapers so all diapers have if you can see this kind of like kinching same as um a regular like disposable diaper and that's just to like create that seal around their legs well not all cloth diapers have a double gusset and that is where let's see you have the outer one and then you have this inner one that actually this like creates a super great seal around their legs so sometimes with these especially if you have like my son's really like on the smaller side so even if we tighten it all the way there's just not like a super seal whereas with this it's just a lot less likely, especially for just like poopy diapers and things that like are a little more likely to leak, um, especially for like newborn poop. That's just basically liquid. I'm obsessed, obsessed, obsessed with um, the double gussets because this catches almost everything. Like I'm going to show you guys covers in a little bit. Literally, those are game changer. Even if you don't want a cloth diaper, hands down, hands down, recommend covers because they've saved so many like poop explosions from happening in our household because the double gusset like caught what should like what would have been just a poopy mess so this is i'll have like the links to all the diapers below this is simply being i remember like i thought they only made covers this one brand called thirsties i thought they only made covers that were double gussets and like i wish they would just make pockets and then i found this brand and i'm obsessed simply being um has the double gusset so anyway those are pockets as far as what to put inside the pocket, you have a lot of different options. The easiest thing to me is just a pocket insert, which is just a sewn item like this, you know, that you can easily slip in or double up. Again, what I love is just there's different inserts based on like what you need. So probably the most common ones, the cheapest ones are cotton or microfiber. Um, I will say microfiber cannot go on baby's skin because it will just like bother them, but these are super, super, super absorbent. So they work great inside of a pocket, but you wouldn't want to put it like on top of the diaper because it could just bother them. So some people don't like using microfiber. Some people do. I love using microfiber on top of something else, especially like at nighttime. This is a Thirsty's Hemp. 
So hemp is gonna be super, super absorbent. So like what we do for nighttime diapers is we'll use this microfiber. So microfiber is very fast absorbing, so it'll quickly wick the pee away from him, but the hemp insert is gonna be like kind of your long-term or long exposure. I don't know what the best word for that is, but like just longer. So basically quick absorbing so he doesn't stay wet and then long absorbing so that he doesn't soak through his diaper. Um, and I will say we had to experiment a little bit to figure out what worked for our son. Again, we started with something called fitteds and that just didn't work for him because it was just too much moisture on his skin. And then we discovered this and it was great. Okay, so the other kind of inserts, I talked about the hemp. We talked about cotton, I think briefly. These are just like cheap, they're not my favorite. Again, I like the microfiber. And then I also have some bamboo ones. Um, <gasps> thank you. Oh. Hold on. Okay, so you can also stuff what are called pre-folds um, in your pocket as well. I will say pre-folds so they're big and you pre-fold them or tri-fold them. And a lot of times these are used inside of um, covers, but you can also stuff them into pockets. I will say these clearly, this is a lot bulkier than this. So if you were to put these inside of a pocket, it just can create quite, it's called a fluff butt. That's pretty thick. Plus you still gotta fit a kid in there. So sometimes like, there were times when we were trying to figure out our system. We did use prefolds a lot because we were gifted a lot of prefolds, and I just didn't know. We like I didn't think we wanted to do pockets, so we had no pockets starting out. Um, we just had covers, and like again, this is just that's a very thick diaper, and so I would have to size up in my son's pants and sometimes his onesies just to get this like get his clothes around his bum. So it's much nicer if you know you want to do pockets just to get the inserts because look at much, much, much thinner and easier to use. Um, so yeah. So anyway, pre-folds often go in something called a cover. So this cover literally just is outside and then the waterproof lining. This is Thirsty's. These are hands down the best covers. Even if you don't want a cloth diaper or if you just want a cloth diaper part-time, highly, highly recommend these. Like anytime we travel, we don't do cloth diapers when we travel because I'm not gonna ask family members to let me wash poopy diapers in their washer because that freaks a lot of people out. Um, so, plus I just wanna travel with the sprayer and it's just easier for us if we're gone for a couple weeks. Um, just use disposables, but I still use this because these have the double gusset. So you can see there's the double. So it just creates that super great like sealant, I guess, around their leg. But these are really easy to dry. We reuse these probably just once a day. I usually use one for a night because it does kind of get like a smell. Um, thank you. <gasps> there you go, even with disposables. And then during the day, because we change them obviously a lot faster during the day. But these are amazing. I will say, the one downside to Thirsty's covers is there is not one size. There is size one and then size two. So size one, I forget, it goes up to like 24 pounds maybe. I'll have it, I'll have it down in the description. Um, and then size two, so this is really great for like potty training and like toddler ages if they're just like not ready to potty train or that kind of in, in between size two. So you can see the difference between these sizes. Um, this, they're pretty big, but again, these are amazing and so, so, so worth it. So if you're using them for cloth, you'll use the pre-fold. Thank you, baby. So you'll literally fold it, tri-fold, like this. Okay, hold on. There you go. And you just literally put it on top. There's also, why we did these, there's something called a snappy, which is this right here. So if you can see, it has these little grooves that catch onto the diaper. So this is basically the safe version, because it's all plastic, of the safety pin. So a lot of people know, like, cloth diapers, 
and you can look up different ways to fold, but you would literally, what we would do is we would just do this little, this would be the front, and then I would wrap that so there's his little, it would kind of cinch his leg hole, wrap this around leg hole, and then you use the snappy. So this is the safe version, like I said, of the safety pin. So if you've seen like cloth diapers, traditionally what people think about cloth diapers, I'll put a little photo here um, with the safety pin. This is basically the safe version. I should have gotten a different colored one because it's kind of like hard to tell. Um, but there's the safe version of it. And it's great because they, they pull. This is kind of hard to do, not on a kid. So that you can really get... Here, let me just see if I... Hard to do, not on a kid. So you have it there and you can stretch it so that you can get that like kinching in a really tight fit. Um, so these are great. Like I said, we thought we wanted to start with the system of just um, using these thirsties because you can use them on newborns. You can use them, I mean, I don't know how much of a preemie but like even if your kid's like pretty small when they're born, you can use these because these, again, have the buttons so that you can kinch it really, really tiny um, to make a little, little diaper. And then with pre-folds, you can literally just look up how to fold a pre-fold. And there are so many different kinds of folds based on if you have a boy or a girl, if they're a heavy wetter, heavy pooper. There's just a lot of different ways you can use these and then use the snappy to help enclose it. And it's just really great. Another insert that's probably the cheapest insert, but also um, the cheapest insert is called a flat. So a flat is basically like a tea towel just a flat basically piece of fabric super super thin I mean literally think of just like a tea towel and again like the pre-fold this is really great because you can customize just different like folds for baby and use them um, use it with the snappy and create a little diaper with the cover because obviously this is not waterproof so you're always going to need a cover over it um, to keep this is what makes it waterproof. This is obviously what's absorbent. Um, but these I will say probably are my personal least favorite only because you would have to change baby a lot, a lot, a lot. So maybe if you have a newborn um, where you're changing them a lot anyway, but like my son, we're not changing him 15 times a day. So these just like, it weren't great for him because again, all this moisture, like he's sitting on the moisture. So if excuse me, if I didn't catch him, like, the m within minutes of him wetting himself, then he just kind of got, like, a little diaper rush. So, the last thing I'm going to show you is something called a fitted. So, this, again, is what we originally used for nighttime. Hi, big boy. You got a big old book, huh? Okay, hold on. I got to read. I'm going to read. Brown bear. Huh? See, this is what happens when Mama films YouTube videos while well, Dada's working. <gasps> brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? This one is a great book <sighs> because it has this slider. And so, I was talking about fitted. So, these are basically, if you don't want to deal with having to like fold a pre-fold or a flat, these are really great, especially for night when they're little because it's just automatically together and it buttons. So, you literally, like everything else, so it, one of my favorite things about cloth diapers is it's just so customizable to your kid and it's great because again, what works for one kid might not work the same for another kid. So, it's just easy to snap and then same as before you would put this in oops i had it all folded <gasps> there you go um you would put it inside a waterproof cover so it's really great there's a gusset in here so like again at night time especially when he was little if he would poop like this would catch it and then it has this which has also the double gusset so literally it's like almost triple gusseted so it just kind of saved us at night especially when he was a newborn and just newborn poop it's just so runny um so this was really great again we didn't get to use this as long as i wanted because this for our son just he didn't love like his skin didn't love the moisture but Hopefully, with future kiddos, it will work. So, that, I believe, oh, is almost everything. I'm going to show you two more things. All right, very, very important. This 
is called a wet bag and this is by monkey foot designs we love it highly recommend it is more expensive than a lot of times you'll get like this cheapo little wet bag it's like very very thin it's great like i love these little ones that you usually get free if you buy like diaper packs like a set of like diapers from a company that will lots of the time store these in they're like five or ten bucks these are great for like if we're going out for the day i just need to throw one or two diapers in here it's great but it's not gonna like hold the smell because it's just a much thinner material whereas monkey foot designs it's like a double it's like double layered so you have this really really thick um waterproof liner and then the outer shell so this i think this is the extra large I'll, again i'll double check everything and have the correct links below um but it's amazing like i kind of wish we had two just because it does take a little while to dry um sometimes like down here will be a little wet we dry everything inside because we don't have a clothes on outside but i think this spring i'm gonna ask my husband to help me build one um but love 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 this so this is probably like three feet so this is just really great because we have this by his changing pad um and so when he's done with the diaper we just put it in here unless it's a poopy diaper then we go rinse it but what's great is if you're breastfeeding and if they're only breastfeeding you can actually it sounds gross but trust me it is fine um you can just throw the breast like the breast milk poop um, in here and it goes in straight into the washer because it's water soluble so it'll totally disappear but once they start eating solids or if they're doing formula then you do have to rinse them with a the sprayer which again I think I'm going to do another video it might be a TMI video but it's just helpful to know I thought I was like okay we'll cloth diaper until he starts eating solids um, because I was like I don't think I can just do the whole rinsing poop thing but we're 16 months in it hasn't been so bad i mean i don't love rinsing out poop but you know it's not the worst thing um so the last few things this is game changing speaking of poop this is literally just flannel you can you buy like an old flannel sweater from a thrift store or it was actually cheaper for me i just went to like a craft store and just bought like a couple yards of fabric and just cut it up but literally we put this where's the pocket um I put this on top of the diaper. So any diaper you use, I would just put this on top and the poop comes off of flannel so easy when you're like, literally if it's like a solid poop, you just fling, flings right off. If it's a little bit runny, it just like, I don't know what it is about the flannel, but it just makes it, it's a lot easier to clean than this where sometimes it just, gotta work at it a little more it's not the most fun and then the last thing here's just little cloth wipes so we actually honestly just use disposables wipes even though it doesn't make sense when we're running out but I mean still pandemic so we're not out a bunch um because when we're like throwing this and you have to find like somewhere to throw the disposable away but um there are cloth wipes and they're really easy to use they're super cheap um and you can just use depending on your preference water there's like sprays you can buy or solutions you can buy and mix you can make your own like dr bronner's distilled water and like essential oils if you want so again that is everything cloth diaper um we really really love it um again because it's just super customizable it's been great for us i think the hardest part was just like choosing a system and then we before my son was born we were like this is the system we're gonna use which i probably wouldn't recommend um because again we bought or we were gifted in baby showers a ton of thirsties like size one covers and a ton of like flats and pre-folds and then I think like a month or two in my son suffered from thrush really bad and we just discovered like that it was just not the system for us so we still use the covers whenever he's like on disposables um but I just feel bad because I have all these pre-folds and fittings that honestly I don't really use so we'll repurpose them I mean I'll probably um thank you Bubba I'll probably turn um like the pre-folds into like little washcloths or something I don't know but anyway we, we then had to like buy all the pockets ourselves which aren't like terribly expensive a lot of times they're like companies will bundle them but still you know it's still an investment it's not like two dollars um 
it's a worthy investment in my opinion and you can look up there's like tons of places that say how much like cloth diapers save you um but for us it's more so just like i don't know if there really is like astronomical i think it just depends on what kind of diapers you use and um all that because you are like washing them and stuff like that but for us i just felt better using disposable and it's just fun i just think like cloth are really cute and i just love like I love all the solid colors, which are harder to find than you would think. A lot of people love patterns, and there's millions of patterns out there um, and companies that, like, specialize in just doing a ton of patterns. So it's just cool because it's very, I feel like, customizable to whatever makes sense for your family. And there's, again, cloth diapers for every budget. You can buy bundles, like I said, of families that, like, decided they're no longer cloth diapering or all their kids are grown, and they're just like, here's my bunch of cloth diapers um i mean there's people who have hundreds we have a very like humble stash i would say again a little more fitteds and pre-folds because we thought we were going to do that full time um but now we just have enough pockets to get us through a couple days um honestly we'll probably get more because again i don't love doing laundry but it just keeps me accountable to do laundry every two days um but yeah so that is the basics cloth diapering 101 i hope this video was really helpful for you again please 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 any questions you have below or any questions you have let's just comment them below i'm happy to do another follow-up video if you, there are a ton of questions or just answer them like on the fly in the comments um like i said i'm pretty sure i'm going to do a washing routine because that's just something that took us a while to figure out and again that there, I guess I will say, like, with cloths I bring, there's just experimentation. Um, but as long as you're not intimidated to try a few things, I will say it wasn't like we kept trying things and failing. Plus, we also I had friends and reached out in Facebook groups like, hey, what detergent do you use? What this do you use? What systems do you like best? And getting to talk to other moms. So happy to be that for you and help you out. Um, like I said, we have loved cloth diapering. I will have links to everything I mentioned down below, all of my favorites um, as well. And if I have, I'm gonna try to see if I can get some discount codes too. So definitely check below to see if there's discount codes because hey, who doesn't love a good discount? Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope this was helpful. If you're about to start cloth diapering, um, congratulations. It really is fun. I in thoroughly enjoy it. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just like slowing down and having to stuff the diapers, but I love the process. I enjoy it. Um, plus it's just really cute seeing his cloth booty like run around. Um, and it'll be fun to know that like he can share with a future sibling. So anyway, that's all for today's video, guys. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And again, let me know if you want to see more videos about cloth diapering and any questions you have. Definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I am posting regularly every week, aiming for twice a week this year because I just am finally doing the YouTube thing. I've been wanting to for a long time and I'm just like, we're going to make it happen. So anyway... I will see you guys next time. Ciao.